In this lesson, we'll take a look at a few modifiers that we can use on our different strokes. So let's jump into ZBrush. And we'll just use our character um, as an example. Now, the actual detail that we create in this isn't important. We're just kind of using this um, as kind of an example to, to show some of the stroke modifiers here. And we'll use this guy's back. So I've just got Damien's standard brush. And if I turn on Z add, let's say I want to add some little raised ridges. And I want to come across and I start to draw them onto the surface. Let's increase the intensity a little bit so we can see them. I start to draw them onto the surface. You can see that I can get a very sort of smooth stroke, but it is not as smooth as I'd like it. You can see if you zoom in, my hand isn't that steady. And so it's constantly you're getting these little bumps in the uh, ridge. Let's say that I want to have a nice, really smooth curve. And so what I can do is go into the stroke palette and let's go under lazy mouse. Okay. So we want to turn lazy mouse on and let's increase the lazy radius so that we can see this. So I'll increase the lazy radius. So now what will happen is if I come down here and start to draw out, it's going to draw out this red line and it's going to get to that distance. And then it's going to actually start drawing out my ridge. So what this does is it kind of it kind of smooths out my stroke, so it enables me to get a much smoother curve. If I increase it even more, it becomes even more obvious. So I can come in and you see that red line is even longer. And so I can really have a lot of control over that. I can come in here using Alt and then kind of cut in along the side of that. And that lazy mouse just enables me to get a nice smooth curve there. And you can turn this on and off for uh, your different brushes that you're using just under stroke. You can turn off lazy mouse and you can see it just goes away. And now you can kind of freely sculpt the way that you want to um, if you need to get something a little bit that you have a little bit more control over. But this allows you to get nice smooth curves and lines and that's using the lazy mouse. Okay. Another thing that we can do is to use backtrack. And so let's say we want to define a, a line and then kind of just go back and forth over it with our uh, whatever brush we happen to be using. We can use backtrack and we want to snap to track and then we can use plane, line, spline or path. We'll just use a line. So let's say that we want to create some detail up here. So we would click to draw out the line. So from the beginning and then to the end of the line. And then when we start to go back no matter what I do, it's constrained to that line, okay? So if I were to draw, for instance, across here, I can't go outside of that line. So it's nice because if you want to be able to define a straight line and then just have that detail go back and forth over it, it's nice to be able to do that. And then you can go back in and, and smooth over it if you want to. So that is called backtrack, and you can use that with lines. You can use it with splines and paths as well. Okay. And so those will allow you to create detail along a particular path there. Okay, and that's called backtrack. You can also turn on curve. So under curve, we can turn on curve mode. And what curve mode will let us do is come in here and we'll draw out a curve. And let me go back to stroke and just turn everything off here. So we've got curve mode on. So what this will let us do is draw out a curve on our surface. So I can draw out a curve kind of right here along the back. Okay. And that curve is, you can see, sitting on the surface. And then what we can do is start to raise up the detail based on that particular curve. Okay. And we can move that curve around the surface and we can create sculpted detail based on that curve. If we want to get rid of the curve, we can just click on that surface. And you can enable the, uh, the curve mode on any of these brushes. A lot of brushes actually already contain that curve functionality and some of these are suited more for uh, Dynamesh and things like that. But you can start to see some of these curve brushes, curve pinch, um, curve editable, curve tubes will lay down um, tubes on your mesh with curves. We don't want to really do that yet. Um, and then you can create 
different kinds of geometry in a lot of different ways using curves. There's a lot of cool functionality uh, here to do that. And you can activate curve mode on individual brushes by coming over to the stroke palette and turning on curve mode. You can also lock the start and end. And there's a lot of different functions you can do with your curves here and also curve modifiers. Okay, we already talked about roll and how that applies our alphas in different ways based on if we have this on or off. Lazy mouse, we talked about enabling that will give you this sort of red line that lets you get a nice smooth curve without having to have a real steady hand. And you can increase that lazy radius if you're doing these large sweeping curves. You can also choose backtrack and you can snap to that track if you want to so that you can kind of go over a specific line or spline that you've uh, drawn out. And then you also have curve mode that you can turn on to enable you to draw curves onto your mesh and then go back in and edit. And it'll kind of do a stroke across the entire curve. And then you can come back in and kind of smooth that out a little bit. Okay, and again, this is just kind of an add-on to the stroke that you're using. So I'm just using the dots, or you could be using the freehand stroke as well. It's kind of an add-on or modifier to your strokes. It still takes into account the Z-add and the Z-sub, what, what your Z-intensity is and what your draw size is and what brush that you have. So it just uh, is something that you can turn on to add to the stroke that you're creating to make your strokes do really what you want them to do. If you want something really smooth or something very specific along a curve, you can use those modifiers. Okay, and if you want to, you can kind of smooth the ends uh, back into the body a little bit to kind of integrate that. Or you can go down in subdivision level to do the same thing. Okay, so that's a look at a few ways that we can modify our strokes in ZBrush.